church, amen. Amen. How many of y'all know it was the blood? Amen. One day when we were lost, he died upon that old rugged cross. Amen. And I don't know about you this morning, but that's something to get happy about. Amen. That's something to praise him for. Amen. Because he died for you. Amen. He had you on his mind. He had you on his heart. Amen. That's why the Bible tells us to let the redeemer of the Lord say so. Amen. Sometimes you got to let the devil know, I still love him. Amen. Sometimes my body racking with pain, but I can still lay my hand because God been too good to me. Has he been good to you? Amen. We come here to lift him up this morning. Amen. And y'all already getting the party started. Amen. When I come out, amen, and see the eldest lady in the church up moving, amen, that gets my heart stirred up. Amen. Because if Miss Ruth can move, amen, all of us should be able to move a little bit. Huh? Amen. 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 Deep, we're going to say something different this morning, Deep. Trouble in my way. I have to cry sometimes. Put your hands together. Love so much trouble. I have to cry sometimes. I lay awake at night. But this song. Long time ago, Chuck worked in me, and I've been to go. But there was a moment, the sun. I'm not a Jesus. Anybody here not a Jesus? I'm not a Jesus. He's been so good to me. Has he been good to you? So you learn. If you know he'll fix it, hear somebody say, He made a way. I said, He made a way. Made a way out of no way. Anybody here not a Jesus? After a while, after a while, he may not come when we want him to. But he's right on time. He's never early, too early, and he's never too late. Amen. He'll fix it for you. Good. This morning, our scripture reading will be coming from Psalms 121. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. 
the sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Amen. Amen. The word of God for his people. Good morning, church. Good morning, church. We want to thank God for another day. And uh, I personally, before I offer the prayer, I want to thank each and every one for whatever you've done during this tragedy that my wife and our family is going through. Thank you for the prayers, the card, uh, food, or whatever you may have done. But I thank you most of all for the prayers that y'all offered up for us. And let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for another day's journey. And we're glad about it. Because when we open our eyes today, we saw a new one. A day we had never seen before. And we'll never see it again. We thank you that you kept us Even through the storms that was going through, you kept us and you protected us. You didn't come now our dwelling, and we say thank you, Lord. We thank you for life, health, and strength, for food, clothing, and shelter. Not only the physical aspect of it, but we thank you for the spiritual aspect as well, because you are our everything. And you have fixed it. You have made a way for us. You did it over 2,000 years ago when you sent your son down and he died on that cross and rose up on that third day with all power in his hand. And we say, thank you, Jesus. We thank you for leaving us a comforter who is the Holy Spirit. And we say, welcome into this place and into our heart. And we ask we be more like Jesus, that we could go out into this world and tell people that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. We could tell them that weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. And we thank you, you know, because it's unspeakable joy, not joy that man might have or the peace that they think they might have, but it's the peace that we have with you because you made a way for us. And we say thank you. We ask and pray that you... Bless this church and this church family, oh Lord, and not only this church, but all churches throughout the land and the country. And we ask and pray that you bless not only this nation, but all nations. Because it's you that, you made us all. The heavens and the earth, you made them, oh Lord, the moon and the stars, the sun, and all the, the handiworks, we see it. And we know that you're coming back again. And let us be a people that's ready to receive, that you go receive us unto yourself. Because you said, where you are, there we might be also. We thank you for granting us that opportunity. But we know what we have to do. We have to accept the fact that we all have sinned and come short of the glory of the Lord. We got to believe that he is Christ, the Lord, and the Savior. And we got to confess it with our mouth. So we ask and pray, Lord, as we go through this day that you remember the sick, the afflicted, the one that unconcerned, the one that even don't even believe you in right now, Lord. Let them know that they have a God to serve, to glorify. And we thank you for all things. This we pray in Jesus Christ's name. And the church said, amen.
Good to see all of you here. Good to see Sister Melinda in church today. I'll continue prayers for all of those that are on our healing list, those who've been in bereavement. Continue prayers for each and every one. Amen. 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 Give God a hand cup of praise. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Again, welcome each and every one of you and happy birthday and anniversary to those that are celebrating. Amen. Happy birthday to Trustee Milton Hunter. Amen. 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 Please keep those, again, on our healing list in your prayer. And also, all bereaved family. Amen. Continue praying for the family. Amen. The brother Raylan Hamilton. Amen. 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 As you heard uh, Minister Gilliam earlier. Amen. Please keep that family in your prayer. Amen. Amen. On the third Sunday in October, we will celebrate our friends and family day. Amen. 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 I'm trying to find us a speaker. And on the third Sunday in October, amen, we will celebrate our friends and family day during our morning service. Mm -hmm. Amen. Again, uh, we never know when tragedy is going to hit. Amen. 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 None of us know uh, what's going to happen later on today or tomorrow. Uh, no one knows but God. And in saying that, amen, it is a family. Uh, the, the man uh, works with our own Miss Mary Hunter. Amen. He has three children, ages 1, 9, and 12. He's the only one working in the home, and they lost their home due to fire. Amen. amen. Again, amen. Y'all know, like I know, if your home catches fire, amen, we all have insurance. Amen. <laughs> the way it's set up now, amen, insurance ain't going to cover it all. Amen. Because when you house is consumed with fire, amen, it, it, honestly, it's no more good. What's in it is no more good because once that smoke gets in your clothes and your furniture, amen, it's no more good. Amen? Amen. 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 I'm pretty sure we all know or have a family member who's experienced that. And in saying that, amen, on next Sunday, amen, we will take up a love offering for that man and his family. Amen? Amen. 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 The reason why I say next Sunday, because I know many people don't bring extra money with them to church. Amen. I understand that. I'm, I'm guilty of that myself. Amen. amen. But on next Sunday, amen, we will uh, take up a love offering. That I, right? amen. Amen. amen, for that man and his family. Because if the church don't help them, y'all quiet on me. Amen. amen. The Bible says that we owe nothing to each other but to love each other. Amen. Huh? Thank you, God. Okay. So on next Sunday, we will take up a love offering for that man and his family. Again, uh, God bless each and every one of you. And we thank God that we were able to stay, stay safe during Hurricane Ian. Amen. But but as we have seen on the news, amen, many have lost their homes, amen. some even their lives. Amen. amen. So please uh, keep those families in prayer, especially in Florida. It hit real bad in Florida. Amen. amen. I always say when them hurricanes, I just pray they stay out in the water. Yes. Amen. Because if they out in the water, they ain't hurting nobody. Amen. But when they start touching land, amen, they start impacting uh, lives. Oh, yeah. So please keep those uh, in prayer, uh, families in prayer that have lost uh, their homes, their cars, and some have lost loved ones because of Hurricane Ian. Amen. I just told you a while ago, we don't never know what can happen. Amen. 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 That's why we have to live, amen, today. Yeah. Amen. The Bible says don't put off tomorrow. What you can do today. And you better serve him today. Amen. 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 God bless each and every one of you. Amen. We love you. Amen. We are having a wonderful, wonderful service. Our choir is blessing us so great today. Amen. 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 I'm about like Deacon Breeze. I just love to hear them sing. Amen. 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 God bless you. Give them a hand clap as they come. I'm so glad. Found Lord Jesus in time. He took away the doubt. Then he moved all my fears. He gave me unspeakable joy. Amen. He wiped away my tears.
found the Lord Jesus just in time. Say amen. amen. And give God a hand clap of praise. Amen. I found the Lord Jesus just in time. Amen. As you turn your Bibles to the book of the Psalms, the 119th Psalm, amen, the longest chapter in God's holy word. We bring you greetings this morning, God the Father, Jesus the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It's our wonderful ministers, amen, our deacons, our deaconess, our trustees, ushers, choir members, and friends, amen. To my wife and my children, amen. To the mother of our church, amen. God bless each and every one of you. Because everybody is somebody in the eyesight of the Lord. The 119th book of the Psalms, amen. Amen. 176 verses. And we ain't going to read all of them today. <laughs> Hey Amen. You could do that on your own leisure. Amen. Amen. But we're all going to read verses 105 through 107. Verse 105 through 107. If you have it, amen, we ask you to please rest upon your feet in reference for the Lord. The book of the Psalms, the 119th Psalm, verses 105 through 107. Ready? Amen. Let's read. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I have sworn and I will perform it that I will keep thy righteous judgments. I am afflicted very much. Quicken me, O Lord, according unto thy word. Amen. Amen. The word of God for the people of God. We want to talk briefly from a topic this morning, according to God's word. According to God's word. The Bible, God's word is absolutely necessary to mankind. When we become Christians, God's word becomes the source to our daily victories. Many try to devise solutions to their daily challenges through other means, but the problem with artificial sources is they are short-lived and can't provide permanent solutions. Amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. Oh, yes, the word of God is powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. It's powerful enough to help us in every situation we are faced with in life. And in order to experience the dynamics of God's word, we have to keep on studying and meditating in it both day and night. Amen. Am I right about it? Yes, we should be willing to make it our daily bread. For John 6 and 35, Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Amen. He that cometh to me shall never hunger. Can I get a witness? Oh, yes, that's why people who are unbelievers are always seeking because the substance they are filling up on is temporal. That's what bothers me about this world that we live in today. Instead of growing, instead of getting closer, instead of aligning with God's word, society and our government are making laws that very much contradicts God's word. Y'all don't hear me in here. According to the word, we ought to obey the laws of the land. The Bible teaches us that in the book of Romans 13. But they come second to the law of the Lord. Am I right about it? Because John 1 says, in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. Can I get a witness in here? Amen. And I know, amen, uh, when the laws of the land, amen, when they don't line up with the ways of God, amen, we must always follow God. Sure Am I right about it? Amen. That's why, I, amen, Deacon Briggs, I get bothered at the world we live in today because we as a society are starting to accept wrong instead of right. Amen. I wish I had some help in here. 
Amen. We, amen, as a society, amen, are giving rights. Uh, I'm going to fix it up for you. We're giving rights to people who choose to be a certain way when people who can't help what they are don't get those rights. You get that going up 146. That's nice I can say it, Miss May Helen. Amen. But all I come to tell you this morning, amen, that if it don't line up with the word of God, it'll always be wrong. If it don't line up with the word of God, it'll never be right. Can I get a witness? Amen. And the choir sings a song, amen, made by the late now Keith Wonderboy Johnson, amen, that says, I just want to be right. Can I get a witness in here? Amen. And I can't be right, amen, if my living is wrong. I can't be right if it don't line up with the word of God. Amen. And, and talking about word, amen, us as people, amen, we can't put nothing man says, amen, because man will tell a lie. Amen. Don't y'all get quiet on me in here. Some people have better stories than a nonfiction book at the Woodruff Library. Y'all don't hear me in here. Amen. And when I look in the Bible, amen, Cain lied. When God asked Cain, amen, where well, was Abel? Cain uh, responded to God, am I my brother's keeper? Amen. Can I get a witness in here? Amen. amen. Abraham lied. Amen. amen. When they were looking upon Sarah, amen, Abraham told her to tell him, you are my sister. Amen. Instead of his wife, Abraham told a lie. Uh -huh. Peter lied. We all know the lie Peter told, amen. Do you know the man, amen? Peter told him three times he didn't know who Jesus was. Amen. Can I get a witness in here? And somebody I know that lie every day, amen. The truth is not in him. He's nothing but a liar in Satan. Yeah. And I don't know Deacon Hunter. I know people like in Woodruff ain't like that. But there's some folk in Gaffney make me think Satan they first cousin. Y'all quiet on me in here. No, they telling you a lie. You know they telling you a lie. It gets better, Miss Shaver. They know you telling them a lie. Huh? But they tell it anyway. Come and tell you today, and the bad thing about it, Sister Surratt, some folks believe everything that liar says. Huh? No, amen, they ain't nothing but a storytelling. Don't get me wrong, we all have told a story in here before. Amen. amen, I don't care how young you are, I don't care how old you are, we all done told a story in here a time or two in our life. Can I get a witness? Amen, but I'm talking about the habitual offenders. I'm talking about the ones that do it every day. I'm talking about the ones every other sentence is a story. They're the ones I'm talking about this morning. You can't believe them because their word is no good. Amen. Can I get a witness? Just like Satan's word is no good. But one thing I know according to God's word, God's word gives us direction. Amen. John 14, amen. Thomas asked him, we not well know whither we go is. And how can we know the way? Jesus told Thomas and the disciples, I am the way. The truth and the life. No man coming to the Father but by me. Can I get a witness? So God's word gives us direction. Amen. God, amen, will put us in the path that he will have for us to go. Can I get a witness in here? And I know sometimes, amen, us as people, we all are guilty of this a time or two too. Amen. We read the stories, amen, that make us feel good. We read the stories that give us hope and inspiration. But we don't like reading the stories that step on our toes. Can I get a witness? But in order for us to have the right direction, amen, we have to read all of God's word and apply it to our life. Can I get a witness in here? Oh, yes, amen. God's word gives us direction, amen. I hear a lot of people, Deacon Hunter, say they don't know what to do. Say they don't know which way to go. Say they don't know this, that, or the third, but if you get in the word of God, amen, he'll always tell you the way to go. Amen. And whatever you do will prosper. Can I get a witness? Another thing God's word, amen, lets me know according to it, it lets me know there's nothing I can't do. Philippians 4 and 13 tells us I can do all things 
through Christ who strengthens me. Can I get a witness in here? Bible also tells us, amen, that God will give us the desires of our heart. Amen. And that's why I know there's nothing I can't do. Amen. Can I get a witness in here? Amen. And that's for the young people in here, amen. That's for the older people in here. There's nothing you can't do. Amen. But the problem is, amen, we talk to the wrong people. And they give us that lying advice. Can I get a witness in here? Amen. But what we got to do, amen, is line ourselves up with the right people. Amen. What we got to do is get rid of those negative people. Yeah. The people that tell you you can't do it. Yeah. You tell them, see you later. Yeah. The people that tell you you must be out your mind. You tell them, get them out your mind. Yeah. Because they won't see you for a while. All I'm trying to tell you this morning is there's nothing you can't do. Yeah. Can I get a witness in here? Yeah. There's nothing. That you cannot do. Amen. That's aligning with God's word. Amen. Another thing my brothers and sisters. According to God's word. God's word gives me hope. Amen. According to the dictionary. Hope is defined as a feeling. Desire or wish for something to happen. Amen. But biblical hope is forward looking faith. A confident feeling based on the word of God. Amen. Can I get a witness in here? I don't know about y'all this morning, amen, but my hope is in the Lord. Amen. Learned a long time ago, Minister Bainey, that I have to be careful about putting my hope into man. Amen. Because sometimes man will let me down, amen. whether intentionally or unintentionally. Amen. Can I get a witness in here? Amen. But when I put my hope in the Lord, amen. when I put all my eggs in his basket, can I get a witness in here? Yes, amen. I know, amen, that he will never leave me nor forsake me. Amen. I know that he will never let me down. I know he may not come when I want him to come. But he'll always be right on time. Can I get a witness? And that's why my hope is in the Lord. But the Bible says here that thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I have sworn that I will perform it, that I will keep thy righteous judgments. I am afflicted very much. Quicken me, O Lord, according to thy word. Amen. When God's word is a lamp into our feet and a light into our path, it goes back to our first point. We will always have direction. Yes. Can I get a witness in here? Because, amen, if, his, if the word, amen, is that lamp, amen, and the light, Amen. You'll always be right. You don't hear me today. Amen. We let God, amen, guide us in the way to go. According to his word, it will always be all right. But as it says here, I am afflicted very much. That's why we sung the song this morning, Trouble in My Way. I have to cry sometimes. Amen. Because I am afflicted. But the Bible says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord will see them through. Can I get a witness in here? And I don't know about y'all this morning, amen, but I'm still trusting in the Lord. And I'm still depending on the word. Because I learned and realized, amen, that everything I need, my God has it. Can I get a witness in here? Oh yes, amen, and according to God's word, amen, I shall live and shall not die. Amen. According to the word, amen, everything's going to be all right. Amen. According to the word, amen, sometimes I may have to cry. Yes, but weeping may endure for a night. Yes, but joy is coming in the morning. Yes, Can I get a witness in here? And all I come to tell you this morning that according to God's word, prospect we gonna be all right. I wish I had some help in here. I wish I had some Bible believers who believe what the word says. And according to the word, God still sits high and he still looks low and he still has power in the palm of his hand. Is anybody here this morning that's dependent on the word? And according to the word, I'm going to be all right. 
That's all I come to tell you this morning. Is that I have some afflictions. But the Lord will take care of me. And the Lord will take care of you. Because when I look in the world, I see where he healed many people. I see where he spun on the ground, rubbed his hand in the dirt, rubbed his hand on the man's eyes. And the man can see again. All I come to tell you this morning is that if he did it before, my God will do it again. Because according to the Lord, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever, according to the Lord, there's healing in his word, there's power in his word, there's deliverance in his word. Is there anybody in here this morning that's trusting in the Lord? In the word of the Lord. Because one thing I know is that his word won't return void. One thing I know is that the Bible says that my God is able to do it suddenly and abundantly. The Bible says that he still will take care of you. The Bible says that he'll forgive me for my sins and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Can I get a witness in here? The Bible says that if I lie my life up in him, when it is all days, if I confess with my mouth and the Lord in my heart that he raised him from the dead, I shall be saved. The Bible says that when it is all days, he's going to step out on the cloud, the trump is going to sound, the dead in Christ your eyes, and the rest of us shall be caught up together in the middle of the earth. Can I get a witness in here? The Bible says that my God is able. Is there anybody in here that knows he's able? Let the year say, well, ain't the Lord all right? My brothers and my sisters, we got to depend on the Lord. we got to lean not into the own understanding. But I know my ways, we will acknowledge him. He'll direct the path because God's word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. All I come to tell you is that it's going to be all right. All I come to tell you is that he still has power. All I come to tell you is that he is still able. How do you know he's able? Because the Bible says they love our Savior on the old rugged cross. Put him in a bed too. I heard somebody say not on Friday night. Heard somebody say not on Sunday. But early. I said early. Early. Sunday morning. He got up with power in his hand. Say yeah. Say yeah. According to God's word, we have to endure trials and tribulation. According to God's word, we have to have patience. Sometimes we have to go through some things. If you don't go through nothing, amen, you ain't got nothing to talk about. How can you be a witness for him if you ain't never been through nothing? Amen. How can you testify, amen, when he ain't never brought you through nothing? Amen. Huh? Amen. Sometimes we have to go through. Yeah. And as long as we live, we're going to always go through something. But I know he's all right. I know no matter what I go through, he'll always be there. Because he told us in his word that he loves us. There's nothing like God's word. I told somebody before, I don't care how old the Bible may get. I just can't throw it away. I can throw anything else away. I got some raggedy Bibles, y'all. I got some Bibles with tape holding them together. But I just can't throw it away. Because I know what that word means to me. 
Those are church oak. Go ahead, Dee. God has been to me. Amen. I can't afford not. Not to give him the highest praise. Amen. God's been that good to you too. Amen. It's been better to all of us than we truly, truly deserve. Let us pray. Our wise God, our heavenly father, it's once again your children here at the New Prospect Baptist Church calling on your holy and divine righteous name. Yes, Lord. Knowing, God, that you've been good to us. Father, you've been better than any of us truly deserve. God, for that reason, God, we're going to shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Just trying to give you the highest praise. God, Lord, we come praying for those who may be on their bed of affliction today. God, some have been down for a while. But God, Lord, as long as you are on the throne, God, will always be up. God, what may seem like a bad day, God, is always a good day. Because the God that we serve still sits high and looks low. The God that we serve still loves us. The God that we serve came to give us life and give us life more abundantly. For that, Father, we say thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, Lord, we praying for the bereaved family today. God, Lord, we lift up, God, the family of Brother Hamilton. God, be with him as only you can. God, and any other family whose loved one has answered the master's call, God, let them know, God, that according to your word, earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. God, let them know, God, Lord, that uh, sometimes, God, we do cry because, God, we miss our loved one on this side. But, God, I pray, God, that after they shed a few tears, God, that they dry their eyes, God, and always remember that you the one told us you would never leave us. God, we know that mama and daddy got to leave us. God, sister and brother, God will leave us. God, and in some occasions, God, even children have to leave us. But God, you promised us that you would never leave us. 
And God, Lord, we just depending on your word. God, be with those, God, who had it in their heart to come today. But God, they just wouldn't physically able. God, Lord, we pray that you give them the desires of their heart. And that you heal their body. So that they are able to go to the house of praise yet again. To uplift your holy name. God, we pray that you bless each and every one under the sound of my weak voice. God, you know their needs before they even ask. But God, one thing we know that you can fulfill anything that we need. So God, Lord, somebody right now are asking and desiring something from you. And God, Lord, I pray that you answer their, their call. God, I pray, God, that you give them their heart's desire as you said you would in your word. God, I'm praying today, God, for that marriage that may be on the rocks. Knowing, God, that what God has put together let no man put asunder. Let them know, God, that they have to keep you first. God, everything else should work out all right. God, I'm praying for that child today, God, who just don't know what to do. God, for that young person, God, who's at a, at a stall right now in their life. God, I pray, God, that they call on your name. And God, you show them the way to go. Knowing, God, that you would never lead us in the wrong direction. But God, Lord, we have to always, always call on your name. Asking you, God, to give us the direction. Because, God, we know that you are the way, the truth, and the life. Lord, we thank you today. Father, we love you today. And God, as we get ready to partake in this sacred ceremony, God, will we remember you. God, we pray, God, that we take this serious. And God, Lord, we realize, God, and we thank you for the shedding of your blood. Thank you, Father. We praise you. We lift you up. We magnify you. In Jesus' name, all God's children say amen. Amen. Ain't God all right? Amen. God is so good. I don't know about y'all, amen, but I feel better now than I did before. I about caught one of the associates this morning. Amen, because I've been feeling pretty rough and I ain't got no COVID. <laughs> I got the, a cold, amen. But being out in that night out, y'all know how that weather is. Amen. Y'all just, well, I'm telling you, I had a bad cough. But God is good. Amen. For I have received of the Lord, which also I delivered unto you. That the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also, he took the cup when he had 